Welcome to Cambodia. We are kicking off this trip by heading to the capital city, Phnom Penh. In this video, I show you what the border crossing is like and give you some very, very important information you need to know before you try and enter this country. Trust me, you don't want to do what we did. We're not getting into Cambodia. If you're coming to Cambodia, you will need to know this. We spent our time exploring this beautiful city whilst learning about the dark history of this country. Just a pre-warning, this video may make you feel uncomfortable, but I believe learning the culture of a country is one of the most important things you can do as a traveler. Good morning guys, what is happening? I hope you're doing good. You've clicked on this video because you want to go to Cambodia. We are hitting country number 42 today. That is so crazy. I never thought when I started traveling a few years ago that I would see as many countries as I've seen in the last few years. I've obviously taken you guys along on this adventure and get ready for a new adventure. I'm currently in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It's freaking mental here. I am getting the bus to Phnom Penh in Cambodia. It's really easy to get from one country to another in Southeast East Asia. Like this is the main reason I'm leaving this place. It's so bloody mental. Like there's bikes everywhere. If you haven't already, go back and watch the Vietnam series because it's been a it's been a fun nearly two weeks. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my god. I will show you guys what it's like to cross the border, what the bus is like. It was 25 US dollars for the bus. Let's go. Okay, we are ready for Cambodia. Let's go. The bus is finally here. It's really easy to book the buses in Ho Chi Minh. Just head to a travel agent. We paid $25 for this bus and you need to have 40 US dollars in cash to cross the border into Cambodia. I had been on some really good buses in Vietnam, but this one, not so good. It was falling apart, but you know, at least we had this amazing view out our window. Oh, nice window view, Ellen. This is the worst seat. I know this is not acceptable. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Okay, first impressions, plenty of legroom, bit cold, bit dirty, but it was only $25, so. Oh yeah, and this freaky noise joined us on what was meant to be a six hour bus ride. We just stopped at like a service station. If you're coming to Cambodia, you will need to know this. The visa on arrival from Cambodia is just around $40. So when we got on the bus, we needed to give the bus driver our passports and $40 each. Now we literally just paid for 80 US dollars. We got given the $40 each and then within five minutes, we were handed it to the bus driver. The bus driver started to have a problem with one of the notes. Now, one of the notes had a tiny, tiny tear. I'll put a picture on screen here. Had a tiny tear on the note and he wouldn't accept it. In total, we need about $80 for two visas for me and Ellen. And we are $20 short, so I don't know what we're gonna do, but I did Google it. And apparently in Cambodia, if you have a rip or a tear or a mark on the US dollar, they will not accept it. So do be aware if you are going to Cambodia. So we have come up with a master plan to try and trick the guy. We've put the notes in a book to try and flatten it and it looks pretty legit. I'll show you the note. Here we go. That's a crisp you can't see. dollar bill. A crisp AF. Fingers see. crossed this works. We are getting off the bus. We are at the border for Cambodia. I am so scared. I hope this freaking $20 works. Oh my god, I'm scared. Whew. It's always so serious. People at the border trying to sell us money. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why we've got off the bus. I know why we've got well, off the bus. the bus. I don't like this. My stupid brain has just realized what's happening because it's been about seven months since I've done this. So we are at the exit for the Vietnam border. And then I'll soon we'll get back on the bus to enter Cambodia. Let's see what happens. Having done border crossings many times in the past, I knew there wasn't gonna be another opportunity to get cash out. So we decided to try and flatten the note in a book as we had no other cash on us and didn't want to risk getting stuck at the border. Unfortunately, this plan did not work. Perfect 20, yeah. <laughs> The book thing did not work. I think be 
I hope there's an ATM. Oh, we're not getting into Cambodia. I've got my exit stamp for Vietnam. And now we need to get into Cambodia. And the guys just pull the note up and then realize there's a rip in it. Fingers crossed, this is all fine. We've got this. I mean, the, the bus guy was the last one to touch it, so. I'm stressing, I've done this a million times, but I'm stressing. Very touch and go here. We no longer have our passports. We're in the Cambodia border. Fingers crossed, they accept the $20. So remember, I think we've made it. I think they accepted our 20 or didn't accept it, but we're getting back on the bus. If you have ever done a border crossing, you know it can be very stressful. Lots of waiting around, queuing, and generally not knowing what's going on. Luckily for us, we had no issues and we finally made it to Cambodia, where we were greeted with a lovely welcoming. We have just arrived in Cambodia and it's absolutely insane. This is not the day I was expecting at all. We got promised a six hour bus ride and now we've arrived. None of the ATMs are accepting our bank cards. After 10 hours, we finally made it to Phnom Penh and grabbed a tuk tuk to our hostel before starting our adventure the following morning. Good morning from Cambodia. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was a bit of a show. We made it to Phnom Penh after 10 hours when it was meant to be six hours. We're staying in a really nice hostel. It's called Wonders. They have them all over Cambodia, so I'm definitely gonna be uh, staying there. I'll give you a little tour later. We are off to one of the more interesting things to do in Cambodia, which is the killing fields and the genocide museum. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I think it's really important to understand history when you come to a country and that's what we're going to do today. I think it's going to be a very tough day, but we got to do it. For obvious reasons, I didn't vlog this part. Entrance to the Genocide Museum was $5 and we paid an additional $10 for a guided tour, which I highly recommend. It was a difficult and heavy hour that we spent on this site, which used to be a school. That is before it was turned into a torture prison in 1975 under the regime of the Khmer Rouge. Pol Pot was the leader of this party and after taking over government, people were forced out of cities within several days. Under the regime of the Khmer Rouge, there was a mass genocide of 2 million Cambodians within a four-year period. Pol Pot aimed to have a communist state which was isolated from the rest of the world. Anyone thought to hold some sort of intelligence was killed. This included people with soft hands, glasses, lawyers, doctors, nurses and more. Our guide shared with us her story. She was lucky enough to escape to Vietnam as a child. Her family were not so fortunate. People were taken to this prison for torture before being murdered at the killing fields. It is estimated that nearly 20,000 people were brutally tortured here. So that was the Genocide Museum in Phnom Penh. There is a really dark history in Cambodia and I think it's really important when you go to countries to learn about what happened regardless if it makes you feel comfortable or not. So the Khmer Rouge took over for like four years in 1975 and they really did some horrific things. Um, especially with children, you know, they forced everyone out of Phnom Penh into the villages and they really did a lot of unnecessary killing of people. The tour guide was so lovely, I recommend you get a tour guide if you come to this museum, but she sort of shared with us that a lot of her family members were killed and, you know, luckily she was able to escape to Vietnam. So people were tortured in this school for information before they were then killed at the killing field. So we're going to head to the killing fields now, I think it's going to be a really heavy day. I feel like this is the tough part about travel, actually learning about the histories of countries that you visit. Like this only happened maybe, was it 40, 50 years ago? And I was really, really grateful that that lady shared the story with me. I feel, I feel really, I feel really numb and sad and just, yeah. I couldn't help but feel sad after learning about the horrific things that happened in this country. It must have been awful to live through this. 
I had only been in Cambodia for a day at this point and had only been greeted with kindness and smiles. It really shocked me during my trip how happy the Cambodian people are given their dark and recent history. The second part of our morning was spent at the Killing Fields. This is the largest in Cambodia and was based just outside of the capital Phnom Penh. As we put on our headsets, we listened to harrowing stories from survivors who talked about their experiences. Their stories gruesome and terrifying, but important to listen to. Hundreds of thousands of men, women, and even children were murdered here. Their bones remain around the site and often surface through the soil. This tall building in the middle holds a case full of human skulls from victims that were murdered here. If you take off your headset, all you would hear is the rustling of the wind as visitors are listening so intently and not making any noise. After visiting these sites, I'd really recommend relaxing or doing something lighthearted for the remainder of your day, just like we did. Good morning from Phnom Penh. Yesterday got really heavy, as you can see in the majority of the video. Um, I said I was gonna give you a tour of the hostel. If you are coming to Wonders, I'm out of breath because I just did like 15 laps in that pool, please stay at Wonders Hostel. Now you can get a private room for about 20 pound, which is what me and Ellen did. So if you've got a friend, it's like 10 pound each, or if not, they do have dorm rooms, which I would probably stay in if I was on my own, but they have this beautiful pool. They had some really nice food. They've got really cheap food on the menu and it tastes so good. We've had breakfast there every morning. They're just really friendly here. Like they can book all the mini buses, tours and everything for you as well. So I've had a really good experience at Wonders. I'll link it down below if you want to book. Um, but yeah, I need to get showered because we need to leave in like half an hour. And on that note, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope it inspired you to go to Cambodia. I'm only on like day three of being in Cambodia and I'm like, I freaking love it. So we are off to Kampot today in probably like 20 minutes. So I need to quickly have a shower, but make sure you hit subscribe. It's the best way to support my channel, best way to follow along. Um, hit the bell notification icon, give the video a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care and peace out. <laughs>